second in here? Do you want to be a part of the video? Sure, go for it. We can do it like that. Yeah. All right, so what's going on, guys? How's it going? We're here at the Prime, and let's see if we can get a good picture of that. I'm doing it backwards, so you're going to have to excuse me. Where are we? Games. The Gift of Games. We're at our Prime here. Uh, what do you, what, let's make some predictions. What are you going to do today? As long as I don't have dinos, I'm fine. That's honestly it. Uh, I'm picturing today, I'm going to go ahead and go 5-1. Five one. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, I'm going zero oh five. Okay. That's just guaranteed. All right. Let's head in. Yeah. All right, guys. Here is the deck for today. Pause here. Give it a little look. I should probably cover up that, but it won't come out till after I've already scanned it. It's hot trash. We're going zero oh five. Here we go. All right, guys, so end of round one, we didn't fare so well. We took the L. Um, man, he opened up hard with a Shrix. Um, what is it, Stega? It's a Stegosaurus. Um, one that gets plus three power for each ember on him. And um, and then he put the, is it uh, calligraphy or calligraphy? I'm not sure. The one that allows him to move it to his, uh, use it for forging keys purposes, he opened red hot out of the gates and after that there wasn't much of anything I can do um, honestly besides try to slow him down I did try uh, but the quixel stone at the end of the game really sealed it um, as you see I didn't I forgot about the quixel stone so I was gonna go Saurian um, capture one and then hope to fight to capture two to get him off check it just didn't work out um, unfortunately I mean this is the decks I was handed it's the decks with the most creatures and uh, most creatures, most ember control, and most hard pips, extra pips on it. And it just, it didn't work out. Just nothing got flowing. I started real slow. I mean, I got two golden spilers right off the bat, which seems nice, but when you're not hitting the creatures to do it, it doesn't matter. Six Semper is in the deck, but honestly, it just, it came too late. He had already used four or five ember off of it, off of his creatures to. Forge a key, and after that point, I'm I'm kind of SOL. So he basically turned two, then turned three, forged keys, and then it took him a little bit to get his third key. I I, I, I lose that one 99% of the time when he fires that hot. So it is what it is. We're going around two. Um, hopefully we do a little better. Uh, round one was rough, but hopefully that's just a, a my deck not firing um, at all. You know, hopefully it was just a low roll versus a high roll. Um, we'll we'll kind of see what happens after round two. If that's the case, we'll find out. If not, I just suck. It's possible. I've sucked before, so let's see what happens. What's going on? You want to be in the video? Yeah. That's you, hey. right there. I know How are you guy. doing today? Doing all right. Yeah? What's it's your good. record? Uh, two now. Fucker. I don't want to talk to him no more. <laughs> uh, we're 0 2. We're not doing great. Um, he is 2 0. The luck of the cards is in your side, so I, I haven't been. No. Yeah, it's that's just. True. Also, I'm not very good at the cards. I really like playing the mind game, so oh. you throw down like a, a winning play mat, some keys that no one's seen mm. before, have to explain that story. <laughs> gets a little uh, gets a little out of hand. Um, I'm just a f guy who does YouTube videos, so um, we're all into it today. It ain't going well for me. I got three decks that just... Not keeping you happy? They are what they are, man. I yeah. mean, I, I chose the deck with the most creatures. All right. Most Ember um, control. Most Ember extra pips, and it's just not panning out. Not working out. It's one of those days we all have them. It's sealed. You know, I mean, you never know. Sealed is that proverbial box of chocolates. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, so, you know, don't uh, keep your hat up. You, Owen, too, fuck Ooh. off. You know <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a good guy. I, uh, he's you're a good guy most of the time the sometimes uh, but we'll check in with you guys after round three uh, as you saw round two i mean it was a slow grindy game there was nothing going on um and i just again i'm digging for red alert or a volcano or a something to get the board under control i mean my deck has only 15 creatures which isn't a lot for worlds collide um this one had the most the other one had 13 and one had 12. So, I mean, for Worlds Collide, not a great start. So, right. um, and I'm, it's got 
board control. The problem is you got to find it and get it at the right time. And if you don't, you're SOL. Oh, and two. We'll see how uh, the rest of the day goes. Maybe we can pull out a 3-2. Probably not. I predicted 0-5 at the beginning of the day. I had a feeling in my gut. Wasn't going to be well. Worlds Clyde has not treated me <laughs> well at all. Um, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> all right, so it is time for lunch break. We're headed out. We got Ben, JR, and Dan. And I'm sorry, I don't know. There's another gentleman in front of me. I don't know his name. Josh, we're all going to lunch. And uh, me and Dan are gonna get hammered because we're 0-2, so might as well. So ben, what all right, boys, how are we doing today, JR? I'm 2-0. 2-0, Daniel? Robnar, 0-2. 2-0. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. You, Josh? 1-1. Uh, 1-1. So, okay, uh, how are you? Um, I'm 0-2. We went through this earlier in the video, but that's okay. Um, it has been a rough day. We are playing Bravnar with Mr. Dan uh, because that's what we got. We got all Bravnar. So we are eating at a place called Twisted Burger. Burger. This is this Twisted Burger. Right? Yeah, Twisted Burger. Right there. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Say bye. Or, or don't. Ben will say bye. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we're back outside. Uh, we did, as you can see me in the background. We did take game three, we won one. Hey, look at that, one and two, making a comeback. Um, we're not gonna make top cut or anything, but we're having, right now we're playing for shards. We're having fun. Um, that's really what I need. I need the shards right now. That's really why I came down. I don't really need an invite, but I'm so close to that bag, still waiting on it, so we're playing for shards at the current time. Um, having a lot of fun. Uh, played Dr. Sheep Dan, obviously we rode down together, so um, we're, both, <laughs> we're both struggling. We looked at each other's uh, other decks and it didn't pan through well at all. It is what it is. What are you going to do? You know, you, you're going to pull junk decks. So we took the win out for that one. Um, he got two keys really fast. And first turn Flaxia, a couple turns of Untamed uh, really hit me hard. And I was not doing well. And then I started getting into stride, starting getting into some of my cards. Um, at one point, I draw two red alerts. Um, and I've got board control, so what do you do, right? So um, we are losing power at the current time. So we're going to cut this segment a little bit short uh, because we're going to go plug the phone in because we still have two more rounds to play. So let's see if we can at least finish positive today. Let's try. All right, wish us luck. All righty, guys. We're one and three. It's not been a pretty day. Um, it's one of those ones where you just, um, you'd rather put behind you. It is what it is, you know. Again, it's been one of those days where you're like, I need this card, but it came early, and I'm all again to get rid of it, but it came right back. Or what else? You know, it's at the bottom of my deck. Oh, you know, it inopportune stuff, stuff, you know, good cards. Six Semper Tyrannus, this last game. Um, came right down to the wire. Um, I needed a tribute and a six semper tyrannus. I didn't even need the tribute. I could have gotten them down to six. Um, and there was a uh, imprinted Mermook on board, making keys cost seven. I had two on them. I could have put another at least three on them, getting me five, you know, giving me another turn, but just never happened, never popped up. So, trying day. We're going to end up finishing either one and four or two and five. So, or two and three, one of the two. You guys pick. I don't really. <laughs> it's, we're, we're not getting the world's invite. Let's just put it that way. So, uh, we'll see how the end of round five goes. Um, hasn't been going well since I've started doing this vlogging style. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't do it anymore. We'll see you guys a bit. Alrighty, guys. And here's the point where we actually we lost power on the phone driving back. Um, I did get the gameplay obviously captured as you're watching in the background, but the phone did die, and I didn't get to do the little vlogging segment in the background like I had been throughout the you know, the rest of the period. So I'll leave some of the gameplay up. Um, not going to leave a ton of it up. Long story short, uh, we do take this game down. Thank you to uh, the, what is it, the Legionary and uh, a couple of Xeno trainings in our hand, allowing us to really kind of just take him off check long enough for us to win the game. It just unfortunately wasn't a pretty day. I mean, all of our decks, the, the base arc, 
was I think the highest I had was a 55. Um, and going through all my decks, those three, they're all identical. Um, or I shouldn't say they're all identical. Two of them were 55 arcs. One was a 54. They had tons and tons of synergies, uh, bringing them up to uh, one was a 60. The 54 ended up being a 63 sass, and the two 55s ended up being 64 sasses. So just not a pretty day. It, it really it was kind of a painful uh, championship nonetheless. Lucky for us, uh, we still have the prime to look forward to in Middleton, Wisconsin. That's going to be with the one deck challenge. Hopefully that one ends up better. But, you know, hey, it was what it was. We got the shards. We had a ton of fun. I, I still really do love Sealed. Like, Sealed is going to always be that one format. Um, you know, it's really going to elevate uh, strong players high up. And it's going to, you know, elevate the people who maybe don't have as many decks. It's going to allow them to maybe play with a, a very good deck and put everybody kind of at that same level. This was just one of those unfortunate events where I didn't get very strong decks. Um, I think everybody else was topping out at like 67, 68, 69 SAS, somewhere that top eight category was in. So yeah, unfortunately, you know, I wasn't able to play through the deck's shortcomings, but it, it is what it is. I still think Sealed is a very good format. Number one, it does help your local game store out quite a bit. Number two, it, it, it kind of brings everybody to a level playing field. And if you're a strong player, sealed, it could be its crapshoot, but it can also be very, very trying and, and helpful to you. I love sealed. I'm going to continue to play sealed. Um, I love sealed as prime, but they haven't treated me very well. Two and three at this one. Um, that seems to be our, our kind of quote unquote curse. We can't break the 3-2-2-3. Three, two, two, three. This is the first uh, time in a larger tournament that I've ever finished negative in any of them. Normally, I go 3-2, 4-2, two, 5-1, two, somewhere in there. Uh, but this is the first time we've ever gone negative. And that was just, I mean, take a look at the deck. I put it in. Uh, I, I took a picture of it earlier on in the in the segment. And it's just, it's it it's got the pieces, but it's just not uniform. Like, the deck really didn't have an identity. Um, it had means of board control, uh, but unfortunately, with you know only a handful of creatures, there's not much you can do with. Sealed is a creature-based uh, game. This had the most out of all three decks, and it was what it was. I had a ton of fun. I really want to thank uh, the owner of Gray's Lake uh, Gifted Games out there for letting me come in and film and, and doing my thing. He was great. He really helped us out, made sure everything was set up proper, um, and and making sure we had everything we needed uh, to kind of finish out the day and that that was awesome the whole staff was fantastic everybody there awesome people uh, to just be with you know Keyforge has that great community where we don't have a ton of people that you like you don't want to see right um, especially in higher up tournaments there is always that handful of people that come walking and you don't want to see and Keyforge really doesn't have that so uh, I say let's take advantage of that. I'm I'm still digging it, and I hope you are too. We'll see you guys for the one deck challenge next week, where we'll finish finally finish out um, everything that's going on right now with the one deck challenge with the prime in Middleton, Wisconsin. We'll see how we do there. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, if you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, help us out. Uh, the continued support has been absolutely amazing we love you guys we'll see you on the next one